Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 32 and in this tutorial we are still talking about float and clear so this is indeed the second part to the tutorial and in this video as promised I'm going to show you guys how to float a whole bunch of divs next to each other so that we can create like a three column layout for our website. Okay and we are going to use this in future when I do create like a website template or something but for now we're just actually going to create the three different columns so uh, to do that let's start off by creating a div and I'm going to end that div off and I actually want to give this class or this div a class and the class can be left underscore column because this div is going to be on the left okay then I'm going to just put some text in here so let's give this um, some text of div 1 okay and just you know to be lazy let's copy that and paste that here and there so that we have three different divs but let's change this so this is going to be div 2 and the next one can be div 3 okay and uh, classes obviously need to change as well so our first div is going to be on the left so that's going to be left column our second div is going to be in the middle so we're going to call that the middle column and our last div is going to be on the right so we're going to call that um, the right column okay so if we save this now uh, and go over to Firefox and run this in Firefox you can see we have div 1, div, div 1, div 2 and div 3 so they're not exactly in columns just yet they're still appearing beneath each other so we need to um, get them to appear next to each other but before we do that I actually just want to make them look a little bit more uh, like some blocks or some actual squares or something so let's go over to CSS and actually uh, style these classes so I'm going to grab my left column go over to CSS over here and select my left column and before I style this let's just set everything up so we've got middle column grab that um, paste that in here and we'll also do the right column so let's go ahead and grab the column from the right and put that in there as well okay and uh, right now we haven't changed anything so let's actually give our div a background color so that we'll be able to see it um, a lot more clearly so I'm going to give that a background color of blue and then I'm going to give it a height of 200 pixels and we can give it a width of 200 pixels and then I think we can also just change the color of the text to white because um, this blue is actually going to be very dark so we might not be able to see our word uh, or our words div1 on a blue background so we'll change the color to white and that way we'll be able to see them okay and do, 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 do. I'm wondering now if I should put a margin in or not but I think let's just give that a skip so I'm going to save this now. Uh, let's go over to Firefox over here and click refresh. And hey presto, we have one big uh, block over here that's for our first div. Okay, and I'm going to just uh, text align that to center. Just so that the text actually appears more or less in the center. Okay, and what I'm going to do is copy that and paste that in here and in here but we're going to change the background color um, to red for the middle one and green for the right column so save this now and when we go back to Firefox we should have three cool colored blocks so uh, a blue one a red one and a green one how cool is that but again there are still not exactly um, columns just yet because they're all appearing 
beneath each other so there's actually one column and not three separate columns so let's go ahead and learn how to uh, get them next to each other and that was where float and clear comes into play so uh, for our first column which is the left column we know we want that to be on the left so I'm gonna go ahead and float that left and let's save this and actually go back to Firefox and see what happens click refresh well oh dear what's gone on here we've got um, our blue div and then our red div seems to have disappeared but it actually is appear it's appearing it's just behind our blue div uh, so let's go back here and for our middle column what I want to do is float that right next to our left column so that it'll be in the middle and uh, I guess I confuse you guys by saying I want to float it right next to but I actually want to float it next to this div um, so I want to float it next to the left column and to do that I'm just gonna go ahead and say float left again and uh, whenever you do that we land up floating this column our left column left then our middle column floats left next to the left column and appears in the uh, middle and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the right column so you might think well hey uh, whoops not float 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 left okay you might be thinking well hey this is the right column why don't we float it right uh, and I will show you guys why we're doing this in just a second but uh, let's just float them all left and click refresh and as you can see we've got div 1 and then div 2 floated next to um, our first div and then div 3 floated next to uh, our second div or our middle div so they're all appearing right next to each other and uh, that's pretty cool but let's see what happens if I change this right div to float right so go back here and change that to float right then um, you'll notice that we land up having it float to the right and it leaves a whole bunch of space in the middle okay so whenever I want to create three different columns I want them to be right next to each other um, unless you know if I put a margin in just to give a little bit of space I still want those two margins of the uh, of the divs to be touching in other words so um, I just float them all left uh, one after the other and they all appear next to each other uh, which is very cool uh, that's just the way I like it so you don't have any like wasted space like you would over here uh, so let's go back and um, I'm gonna give this a float left again and we'll give this uh, these things all a margin of uh, 10 pixels and you'll see they won't be touching each other anymore but there still won't be any wasted space um, other than the margin which we put there for uh, spacing purposes so now we've got our margin over here but there's no like really huge amount of wasted space as there would be if I took this uh, div 3 or our right column and floated it right and that's all for this tutorial guys so uh, I hope you can <laughs> I hope this helped but in the next video we're actually gonna start taking a look at how to create a website template so we're gonna place the header at the top of the page and then we're gonna have our columns and our footer at the bottom clearing everything and we're going to make our website appear in the center of the browser and all that cool stuff. So I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of cool tips and a whole bunch of tricks uh, just to get your website layout started. And we're also going to learn about some new tags, uh, which I, I've kept uh, right until this last moment. So uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next tutorial. And until then, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.